Hi, I'm Jack Welcome back to my channel. Um, basically, I'm doing an unboxing. I just brought uh, a new laptop, and here it is. And uh, it's HP. One of um, this is the new laptop from HP. Let me bring this down a bit so you can see. And basically, this is um, takes SS SSD uh, hard drive. So basically, the spec on it is a Intel Celeron processor N2840. 2.16 gigahertz, 32 gigabytes of uh, storage, and a two gigabyte of RAM, and it says on a Windows 8.1. This is misleading because when I brought it from Tesco's, it's actually showing Windows 10 installed. Um, but obviously this is saying Windows 8.1 in on here, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. This is one of the small sort of portable laptops now being sold as sort of e uh, for web surfing and video streaming it doesn't have a lot of storage it's 32 gig storage which basically is um, a solid state um, memory basically that's what it is so it should be super fast so we're going to do an unboxing have a look inside and then what we're going to do is we're going to actually then do a windows 10 upgrade because uh, windows 8.1 it's shit <laughs> so and i've done um, a lot of um Windows 10 installed recently. I've got one beside me here, which is a very old Acer uh, PC. Um, it won't install 8.1, Windows 8.1, because it's got none of the drivers for it. And I've just installed Windows 10 on it, and it installs everything perfectly. Wi-Fi, land, it's got everything perfect. And when it was running Windows 7 on it, which is what it came installed with, it was sluggish. 10 on it, super fast now, absolute super fast. Definitely worth it. I've got a laptop here as well. This came with Windows uh, 8.1 installed. Um, the guy who's got it hates 8.1, well, found it sluggish, slow, couldn't work with it, didn't like the swipe. So I've installed Windows 10 on it. Again, super duper fast, much faster, much quicker. Um, but I, unfortunately, I installed the wrong version. So now I'm reinstalling Windows 10 again, but the Home Edition, because we need the Home Edition, not the Pro Edition. So that's been installed on that one. So much, much quicker, very easy to install. So. Let's do the unboxing of this. Let's see what's inside. So here we go, open the box up, and open it this way. So we've got some instructions, sub instructions. Okay, nice and easy. I'll maybe put that as a title there. Let's get that in place. Some information, it saves me title and see. <laughs> so one of my instructions, so I put it on the side. We've got gift certificate, gift card, Microsoft gift card, Buy apps and games and movies online, blah, blah, blah. So you get one of those. Buy your games and apps from Microsoft Store. And we have one drive. Um, congratulations, you've got 200 gigabyte of uh, word space for one drive. Not sure if I use this, okay. And one laptop, here we go. So we've got a box here, which holds the power supply. So you've got one of those. So we'll get this unpacked. Get this all powered up as well. So let's get it all out. Okay, so one on one power supply, power supply. Quite a small, bit more smaller block, not as big and bulky. So that's good. Put back in the box there. And then we've got the laptop itself basically. So put it out. These are ones are super duper thin laptops. So nice and thin as you can see. And uh, I did try to get this in blue, but blue sold out. Um, and the blue was, the screen was a bit a bit, hard, a bit bigger. I think the, the, the screen was 13 inches. This is uh, 11 inches. So, and, and he had it in pink, sorry, it's in pink. So, some wrapper, nice and easy. Not much to these unboxings, it's very simple. So, uh, okay, so we've got that on. Let's put the box away, so we're not gonna, that's not bad, 200 gigabyte of online storage OneDrive. A lot of these smaller laptops, because they've got very small storage, they now do the OneDrive, which then you can share with multiple PCs. So you can have Avid files on the cloud, as they say it, and accessible from any of these sort of devices. But I don't think I would use what, use that anyway, but I'll keep it to one side. I might test it out with, so I'll give it a go. Gift card, we will put that in the box. Instructions in the box, simple. So. Let's see what it actually did come install because it's actually selling it as Windows 10. But so obviously, look on the box on here, it does say on the side here um, Windows 8.1. Uh, I know a lot of the 8.1s you can now get free 
upgrade um, to Windows 10. Um, so look, so 8.1, yep. Uh, yeah, 20. Yeah, this is 11.6 inches. So the one that came in blue was um, the 13 inch version. So open up, turn it out of the way. So there you go, nice, sexy. I wouldn't say it's pink really, it's a sort of purple colour, so it's not too bad, so it's a purple one. And a nice screen, quite nice and clean. Intel Celeron, so you get a crap processor. But for doing basic stuff like internet shopping, surfing eBay and all that sort of thing, that tends to really be pretty much um, sort of low use and video streaming, so perfect. You get HDMI port on the side exit output to a bigger telly. You've got two USBs, headphone socket. And on the other side, you've got uh, an SD card reader, which is handy for your photographs. Uh, power goes in there, and obviously a lockable thing, so you can lock it down. And what else we've got on the back? That's about it, actually, on there. Your pack are quite nice. And I'm going to try and do a memory upgrade on one of these, because it comes with 2 gig, and I know you can get different versions of this as uh, 4 gig and stuff, so I might have a look later on, find how much it costs to upgrade, and maybe put some more... Uh, RAM in this. So let's uh, give her a boot up and we'll see what actually is installed on her. So it she comes with a flat battery because obviously sometimes you get this um, installed uh, with, with power but also it's not. And because it's a sealed unit, I think the battery is actually, I think the battery is actually built, built in. So these are classed as laptops so I assume cause there's no battery you can take out so I assume it's all built into this but also it's, it's flat which is unusual because sometimes they normally laptops come with a bit of charge so I'm gonna try so look yep power up got some power now so get the power up so no screen screen's booting up so HP and then let's see what's installed So not bad, not bad actually. It's got comes with a webcam here, microphone as well. So you've got, you've got a webcam on here. So you, and it is designed as a stream um, laptop because uh, this is what they put out. So I know these can come, yeah, even the bigger one, which is the larger screen, still comes with 32 gig of storage. Don't think get anything bigger than that basically. But um, with the USB on there, I'm sure you can add in um, a hard drive uh, attached to it. Um, you could probably buy a really really big SD card and leave that plugged in uh, permanently here. So we've got the basic regional settings. So we're just going to go through see what, for what Windows version this is actually installed. So license agreement tap, nice and easy on the tap side. Um, and I'm just, oh, next. Let's go through the setup. So it's a nice and bright screen. Uh, type in what the computer's going to be called. And skip the wireless bit for a minute. Use Express. Yeah, I think this is this very looks very much like Windows 8.1. So what we're going to do is we'll. Um, We will install um, Windows 10 on here because um, I prefer Windows 10 than 8.1. Yeah, so there you go. So 8.1 one, comes installed, and uh, that's not bad. Not bad for an uh, idle laptop. And we'll do another. Um, we're going to do another video on this very later, which we'll go through because I'm going to blat out 8.1. Don't like 8.1. But what I might do is I'll get some recording software installed on this so you can actually see my screen properly. And we'll then basically do, um, let me get the camera up a bit, page back. So yeah, we'll get some recording software on this, on this device so we can record my screen output. And we'll take you through uh, a Windows 8.1 to Windows 10 upgrade. So we'll try that first. And then we'll then do a full Windows 10 install after it's like a fresh copy. I don't like doing upgrades because they always seem to be very much pants. And I've heard a lot on the grapevine that Windows 10 has been misbehaving 
from people that actually have been doing 8.1 upgrades. So any machine you buy now um, and going forward, Windows will give you a free upgrade from 8.1 to 10, unless it's already installed, 10 already comes with it. But if you are buying laptops that has 8.1, you shouldn't be, able to be entitled to a free upgrade to Windows 10. So check that out. But I do believe, I don't like upgrades, they never work out. And there's always there's been a lot of rumors so far that people doing 8.1 to Windows 10 upgrade has been pants basically. So, um, but we'll give it a go and see if it actually works, and whether it is pants. Other than that, I'll then wipe it off and do a full install of Windows 10. But yeah, no, it's installed. So here's the screen you can see, all come up. And it's looking quite nice actually. And, and I think the color's grown on me. So next um, video we'll do, we'll do screenshots of this. So, and we'll do the uh, upgrade, see what, the, see what the upgrade entails, how easy it is to install, and then we'll do a fresh install of Windows 10. And I'm gonna do some lots more tutorials on Windows 10, so keep watching, and remember, hit that subscribe button. Anything you would like to know about Windows, or any version of Windows, or any PC or hardware related, please comment below, let me know guys. Remember to put a thumbs up on my video. So until next time, speak soon, and have fun. Cheers.